Happy summertime, everyone. I hope you all had a great May. I know I did, did lots of fun stuff, and I can't wait to dive into my May monthly favorites with you all. I have been loving NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've raved about this concealer before. It's awesome, hands down my favorite. I'm in the shade Vanilla and it's the perfect match for me. I especially love this concealer for summertime because actually I've just been wearing it alone on my face as a foundation and it works awesome. Next, I have this awesome Too Faced palette, a few of my favorite things, and actually my favorite this month from this palette is one of their bronzers, Sun Bunny. Um, it's this, ooh, this little booklet fell out. It's this bronzer right here, the two-tone one. Uh, it's called Sun Bunny, and it's the perfect summertime color. It gives me a little bit of glisten with a little bit of bronze color now that I'm a little bit tanner. And overall, I've just been loving it to wear this month. I'm actually wearing it today. It gives me a nice summertime glow. So for summertime eyeliners, I like to use something that's a little bit different than black. I've been switching it up this month and been using my silver and brown colors a lot. Um, I especially really like the Cynthia Rally formula. I got this in my birch box last month and you can see I've given it a lot of love. The silver color is awesome and sometimes I think black is a little bit harsh, especially if you're going to the beach or the pool or you're going to be outside. Um, and that's again where I love to use. This brown one is actually from Sephora. And I like this one because it has a little bit of sheen to it. It's not just a matte brown. So I have been loving these eyeliners for the month of May. My last makeup favorite. I finally found it. I finally got my hands on one of the L'Oreal Privy Nude Collection colors. And I actually got Dotson. And she is a Victoria's Secret Angel model for all of you that don't know. And it's a really pretty pink color nudie color. I'm wearing it today. Um, it works great with my skin tone. They actually recommend this color protect particularly for fair skin people with blonde hair. So it was awesome. It's the only one I've been able to find. I got it at Ulta and I have been loving wearing this as a summertime color. I don't think this is necessarily a fall or winter time, but it's perfect for the summer, especially with a little bit of nude gloss over it as well. So who doesn't like to look a little bit extra tan in the summertime? I know I do. And I don't like all the negative effects of the sun. So I actually have been using this Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning lotion in deep dark color a lot. I've actually raved about this product before. It's my all-time favorite drugstore self tanner. It does an awesome job. Um, I would recommend using it at least twice a week if not three times a week to maintain your color but it goes on easy. It blends well. There's no streaks. Just wash your hands afterwards and apply it smoothly all over your body after you've gotten out of the shower and you will have the perfect summertime glow. Summertime fashion is always one of my favorites. Um, I just love the selection and the clothing type. Um, you can do so much and have so much fun in your wardrobe. So who doesn't love a good pair of high-waisted shorts? I know I love them. I have so many pairs and I actually picked up this really unique pair lately. Um, you can see it's, it's this really kind of bright floral print color and I wore these and I got so many compliments on I, on them. I love them. I actually picked them up from a local boutique, boutique here in LA on Melrose in West Hollywood and called Eden Sky, but I did find them online, so I'm going to link them down below because they fit awesome. I love them and they also have a cute matching top, but that was a little bit too much floral for me. But pairing this with like a really cute white or black crop top, crop top has looked awesome for me in the month of May. Another short favorite I had is actually from Forever 21. They're pretty basic and they were really inexpensive. They were only like between five and seven dollars, but they're just so comfy. They're this really lightweight material and they had all these really fun designs. And I just kind of picked these up on a whim for before Coachella, but I've been wearing them so much. Like they're just awesome to throw on and kind of instead of you know athletic shorts or maybe leggings or something like they're a little bit different and they're really cute and comfortable and lightweight especially for the summertime so I will link these down below if I'm still able to find them online and I really recommend them to just throw on with a t-shirt and flip-flops to kind of pull your outfit together a little bit more. 
Another great summertime fashion essential that I love, and I have a wide variety of these, is actually kimonos. I like wearing these um, to throw on maybe in the evening when it gets a little bit cooler, or even just with a pair of shorts. And I'm showcasing one of my new ones that I got in May that I've been wearing a lot. And it actually has this really cute giraffe print on it. And I'll try to um, put a picture of me wearing it so you can see it on. But overall, um, it's just awesome. These kind of lightweight kimonos are awesome to throw on. A pair of shorts or leggings or, as I said, when it gets a little bit chillier out. And I've been loving this, this giraffe print one that I also got on Melrose in L.A. at another little boutique called Covenant. And I also was lucky enough to find this one online as well, so I will link it down below. My last fashion favorite for May in the beginning of summertime is crop tops, of course. Who doesn't love crop tops? Particularly ones from Brandy Melville. Um, I'm actually wearing one today. It says, on Wednesdays we wear pink. It's a cute little crop top you can see. Um, so shout out to Mean Girls. I love this. It's so comfy. Um, so this is one of my favorites this month as well as another variety that they have lots of different colors in and it's a cute little tie back just really simple um, crop top you can see here uh, throw in the back um, you can just wear a nice a cute little strapless bra under this I wore this out to the beach with jeans one day and it was really awesome and a super cute look and they have lots of different varieties so I got both of these crop tops from Brandy Melville and I'll link down below they have lots of cute stuff for summertime as well so I'm going to let you guys in on one of my biggest secrets for heels. I have an all-time favorite pair of heels that I got a few years ago when I was in college, and I have worn them to death. And the company who makes them actually brought them back, and I was so excited. I ordered another pair because my pair need to need to go in the trash. They just look terrible. They're so beat up. And they are from Kohl's and they're from their Vera Wang line, um, Simply Vera. And I'm not sure the exact name, but I'll link them down below. And you know, overall these look pretty simple, but why they are my favorites is they are so freaking comfortable. So because of the fabric right here and also right here, it's pretty much all fabric right here. It's really stretchable. And even though it's a pretty high heel, these are just so comfortable. I can wear them out for hours and they're really unique looking once you put them on. And they're overall just an awesome pair of shoe. I think they fit really true to size. I'm generally a six and a half and that's what I got in these and they fit awesome. And again, they're a little bit, they get, they do give a little bit of give since they are this uh, fabric material. So I really recommend these. Go get them online before they're all gone. So lastly, to wrap up my May monthly favorites, I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite LA spots I visited this month. First would have to be Jeffrey's in Malibu. It's an awesome restaurant, in particular for brunch to go, and you can literally sit off Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu and enjoy brunch and sit right by the ocean. It has a beautiful view, and there's wonderful service there. I recommend making a reservation because it does get kind of busy and crowded, especially on the weekends, but on a sunny day, it's just awesome to sit and enjoy the view. It is a little bit pricey in terms of meals, but I think it was definitely worth it um, considering the view. My next favorite spot would also have to be in Malibu and it's Rosenthal Winery, again right off Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu. It's an awesome time to go spend the day with friends and go there. Um, you can do wine tastings, you can buy bottles of wine, you can bring your own picnic, or they have this awesome food truck there that has literally the best fries ever. And you can sit and they have live music on the weekends and you can enjoy your wine and your picnic. And um, they have heaters, so in case it's chilly out, you know, you can feel warm. So I had an awesome time there this week this past week when my sister came to visit we went and visited there and my last favorite spot for May would have to be the Ellen DeGeneres show I have been trying since I moved to LA to get tickets to the Ellen show and I finally got them and was so ecstatic so I went in May and I actually went around Mother's Day and as a surprise to the audience she gave everyone a $500 JCPenney card so I actually spent it all this weekend, $500 all at once. I had all these bags, which was pretty cool. So if you guys would like to see what I got from JCPenney's, let me know. Um, I definitely recommend 
if you want to go to the Ellen Show to keep trying if you don't get it the first time. It took me a year and a half to get tickets. So it's definitely an awesome show to go to and a really fun experience. So that is it for my May monthly favorites. Thank you for watching as always. If you haven't checked out wheezywee.com lately, my personal blog, go ahead and head over there. I've gotten lots of awesome posts up for the month of May and a lot more to come this summer. So let me know down below what products you've been loving this May and what more you want to see on wheezywee.com.